Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. I'm here today to make a new dangle for my glue bottle. Now this one, I've made them before but this one's different. You won't need any jewellery making tools for this one, you'll just need your beads, some twine, I like to use this one millimetre wax linen thread, your fingers, a stainless steel pin and the magic ingredient which I'll show you when we get to it. No, I'll show it you now, that's just teasing isn't it. These little plastic backs for earrings, yeah I've got a variety of sizes all stolen from my daughter. I hope she didn't see this video <laughs> and yeah let's crack on with it. So this was born out of necessity. I've lost all my glue bottle dangles. I like the ones that you make with the traditional jewel making stuff but sometimes they're a bit top heavy for my teeny tiny bottles and then I just end up sticking a pin in yeah I had just a pin stuck in this one if I look at that look at the state of that pin no wonder I lose them when I'm just sticking a pin in I can't even hold it to put it back in so I came up with this one today it came out of laziness couldn't be bothered I could not be bothered to get my jewel making tools out so I got some twine I'm going to use cream twine for this one that one I made in white twine and I use blue beads. I'm going to use pinky ones this time. So I'm just going to grab a length of twine, well two lengths. Well, well one long length and I'll cut it in half later. Uh, for anyone who wants to know how long that is, it's as long as a piece of string. It, yeah, it's 73 centimetres, which in inches is, I don't know, it's about 30, about 30 inches, not really sure. So, what I like to do first then is I cut the ends at an angle and take my glue bottle dangle out and I just like to pop a little bit of glue on. If you watch my recent video where I de did charms to dangle off your junk journals, yeah, just a similar sort of thing. If I remembered to cut it off at roll at an angle, I wouldn't have to come in and cut it again, would I? But that would just involve far too much planning. It really would. So, yeah, it just gives you a pointier end because I'm not using no... Yeah, I've got bead needles, but if you use a bead needle, you need a bead with a bigger hole because you're going to be pulling two widths. That's a two millimetre piece of twine you're pulling through the hole. Some of my beads aren't that big and I want to use them. So, I've put the glue on both ends. Hopefully this end will work now. So let's start and do a bit of threading. I like to start with a smallish bead. My beads come from all over. Amazon, shops in town. Oh, I'm doing pink this time. Start with pink bead woman. Drop your pink bead woman. Yeah, shops in town. Uh, AliExpress. I haven't try even tried some from Timo, but... Uh, I'm not a big fan of Timo. I, I'm really bad at reading descriptions and I quite often end up getting things. This is why I've got all these fiddly tiny little beads. I thought they were going to be yay size and the yay size, but they'll do for these glue bottle dangles if I can see. Oh, there we go. I like to start with a couple of little ones and then I'm just randomly going to put some on. I've got glass beads, I've got plastic beads. As I say, I'm doing a pinky one. So let's see what we've got so far. There we go. Um, if you want to do them truly randomly, which I will, I've got both ends now. I'll just start by putting one of my small beads on that end. I like to start with a small bead at each end. I don't know why, I just do. You don't have to. I can't see it all in that one. So that's not occurring, is it? Yeah, I can't do anything about if you've got dodgy eyes. I do have one of those light up magnifiers for doing my own beading now. But obviously if <laughs> you can't see that. I can't get the camera to focus on it. So I couldn't use it on camera. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to randomly thread my beads onto either or. They're all going down to the bottom. I'm going to split this string in two. Yeah, so I'm basically making one long chain like so for now. And yeah, I've decided pinkish colour theme. That bead don't want to thread. I've just grabbed random beads from all my different sets. 
I mean, this little bead tray I've got might, might give some people shivers. But this is how I can manage to do things randomly. Because I have got this bead tray. Eee. If I were doing a pro well, if I were doing a project where everything needed to be matchy matchy, I do have them separated into different bead boxes. I couldn't tell you where a lot of my beads came from because I've literally been collecting beads for yeah, oh umpteen years, and it's one of the things my girls like to do as well now. Bead bracelets. In fact, I've not put mine on today after my shower. They keep making me bead bracelets. <laughs> Which I can't, I won't complain about. I'm going to have a silver ball on now. Pop a silver ball. Because I do think pink and silver look good together. I may even get all giddy and put a button on one. Ooh, so what have we got so far? We've got that. Yeah, I've nearly got enough to make two strings. So it's not a long process. It's not going to take you... Ooh! <laughs> Do you know when I'm walking on these beads later that I've let roll on the floor? I really want to use that bead and I'm going to have to get my pokey tool and poke an hole in it. I've got a pokey tool. Use, use your pin, woman. Use your pin. Now, I always get, when I do anything with these bead dangles, I always get questions about where'd you get your pins from. Oh, stainless steel pins. I've bought many. Some have been good, some haven't. Be very wary if you're buying stainless steel pins off Amazon. I do have a couple that did turn out to be stainless steel linked in my storefront. But even some of the ones on Amazon that say they're stainless steel, they come and they're not. Let me show you these, for instance. They're in the description that says they are stainless steel. It doesn't actually say it anywhere on the box and they're not stainless steel. So they were no good. These were listed as stainless steel. They're not stainless steel. I did drop on these Leon colour. I don't know if they're in stock at minute. They're made in Italy and they are stainless. So as you can see, I've wrote stainless on there, is it? Are actually stainless. They're good. I got some from a place called Plush Addict in the UK, who have sadly gone out of business. Uh, they were stainless steel, but there are two brands that you can get. I don't currently have any, and they are Woodware, I'll put them in description, and Stix 2. They do packs of pins specifically for your glue bottles, yeah? In fact, I think Woodware called them replacement glue bottle pins, and it's about... They're a little bit more expensive, but consider the amount of money I've spent on pins that turned out not to be stainless steel. I should have just done that in first place. I really, really should. Right, I've been talking and randomly putting these beads on. So now I need to have a look how many I've got. Oh, that's definitely long enough for two dangles. So I'm just going to finish off with two small beads. Two small beads with small holes because then when I come to tie the knots at either end, the beads are not going to fall off. That looks oh, I've, I've nearly got to two bits of me. What's it through? Thread. I'm sure I keep picking this same bead up. No, I don't. There we go. So now, if you feel more comfortable, put a Put a knot in one end when you start. I like to thread on both. So I'm just going to come in and knot one end. Quite close to end. You can always chop a bit off. Pull it nice and tight. And I'm just going to check my last bead won't go over it. Oh, it will. So I'll just put one more knot in that one. Should have picked a bead with an even smaller middle, I reckon. For that one. So there we go. That one's had to have two knots. Yep, that's fine. They're going nowhere. I'll just move them slightly out of the way. So they've gone to the other end. Now I'm going to put another knot almost up to that last bead. Excuse my messy knot. Ooh, don't let it go too. So that's going to be 
my two strings I want a little bit of a gap can you see what I've done let's see whether that one knot will hold that bead yes it will because that's one of those glass beads with a tiny middle so I'm now going to cut that off cut it at an angle woman that was a bit messy wasn't it right so that's one and I'm going to make another one just like that that will better right. <laughs> what didn't I do to my glue bottle what didn't I do I didn't put my pin in it there's no wonder I lose them is there tell you what I've just made myself a fancy new dangle there you go oh, and it's not heavy at all it's not gonna it doesn't make my bottle top heavy right let's thread another string now no I like to start with a small one start with a small one woman there we go then we can get all random now let's find some posher pink oh I got a little packet of these and I just keep pouring much you know what pour them all in woman chuck pack it away there you go all right oh that's a nice dark pink she says picking up a red one just go random 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 oh these are nice I like it when they've got slightly bigger holes it makes my job a little bit quicker and easier let's stick that silver one on I think that's might be a bit big for my glue dangle but you know what? I'm gonna do it put it on pink disco ball that just looks fabulous <laughs> and let's put another silver one other side right yes I've not got all the uh, metal weighing down my glue bottle dangle I can go a bit giddy and put a big sparkly pink one on Wee. I mean you can go as fancy as you want a peachy pink one and I mean you can even I might even put that on do you know I might put that on oh, not this end hmm I'll put a few more beads on then I'm going to put one of those on I think as the end of one of them yeah push boat out woman oh I like that they have a name these shaped beads I don't know where it is I maybe did once but that's gone in ether so yeah this is not the project I was going to do today I'm actually going to make a paper bag junk journal so I think we'll have that later in the week And I'm like, you know when you do something and you then can't rest, you can't concentrate on anything else. And I'd lost my last glue bottle dangle and I'm like, I really need to find one because I keep putting all these pins in and then they keep getting lost and it's driving me loopy loo. And I thought, just make one woman, just make one. And then after I made this one, I thought, ooh, that were quite easy. I think I need to share that idea. Use my pin. That's trouble sometimes with beads. The glass and the plastic, the coated some of them, and then you can't get through both ends. Try it from that end, missus. It's only a bead. Don't stress if it didn't work. That's just not happening, is it? So I'll throw that to one side, give up on it, and try another. There we go. I'm liking it. I love the random look of lots of different kinds of beads what have I got there oh that's just another plastic one I don't want to put another disco ball on because I want to put that butterfly on instead can I even get through that am I looking at right place for all in that bead is it in middle or is it in edge I don't know I can't see it that's one to use later when I've got my magnifying lamp on Ooh, is that a nice one? Let's have a purpley one, just to mix it up a little bit with all this pink. Ooh. 
Go on, you can do it. You probably can't see half of this with my fast, fat sausage fingers. I'm trying a lot of beads that don't want to go on at minute, aren't I? Oh, that's a nice peachy pink colour. And that one worked. Oh, that's a nice champagne colour. That'll go nice with pink. Right, I seem to have put a lot of beads the same size on this one. Don't I? But that doesn't matter. I'm now going to think I might have got enough there. I'm beginning to think that disco ball should have gone at the end. But hey ho, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We can but try, can't we? Let's put the flutter by on. And I'm just going to put one small bead on after the flutter by. To see whether I can get away with just doing the one knot. What colour have we got here? That's a nice little pinky one. Where's the hole? There it is. So I'm just going to tie that one. See if I can get away with one knot. Yes, I can. Right, so I'll move those beads up. So I've got my one long string there and my two long strings there. I'm beginning to regret that because it's going to be quite near the top of the... Um, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite near the top of the needle. Uh, tell you what, tell you what. I'm going to do that. I'll have one string longer than other, just to shake it up a bit. Yeah. Right, I'm going to tie a knot in this end, and then I'm going to cut my excess twine off. Well, I've not put a little bead on that side, but that one really struggled to get onto it. thing, didn't it? Well, I want them a bit close together. Yeah, that's fine. So I brought my own rule there, ending with a small bead. So it's not a rule. Well, anyway, what are rules there for? They're there to be broken, aren't they? Right, so now I just, I like to use this bit of foam here for this bit. Or just use anything, a book, anything you can stab into with your pin. I'm going to grab one of the pins that I know for sure are stainless steel, which is those and these. I don't have any pink, so I'm going to use a white one. I think that'll look good. And I'm going to just put the pin through the middle of that twine. I'm going to do the same thing again here with these. Is that one good? That one we're going to be in the middle. Yeah, I did nearly just stab my sandwich pin. Is that... Now I'm not directly above it because I'm filming. I find it hard to see where the middle is on the white foam. Maybe a book would have been better. So that is it. Now I need to get one of these earring bags. I like to use these teeny tiny. This little, this pack, I paid about £5 for it. Look at all glue on my fingers. Yeah, I paid about £5 for it for my daughter because she's always losing the backs of her earrings. Now I'm going to grab my glue that does have, it's dangling and over those two bits of thread that I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Just as an extra precaution. These do tend to hold but they are made for earrings which are slightly thicker diameter than this pin. So I just find that little bit of glue will just help secure it. But if they fall off, put them back on. Yeah, if you've made it and they fall off, put them back on. <laughs> that sounds so, yeah, sarcastic, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to pop this one into my glue bottle now. Because also by popping it in my glue bottle, can she do it? Can she do it? No, because do you know why? I'm trying to do it the wrong way around with my hands. That will then help hold it. Can you see we've got the little plastic earring back, the two strings and our pin. And there we have our glue bottle dangle. How fabulous is that? Yeah, I quite like that disco ball on it. It's not too glitzy and it's not too top heavy. I mean, you could put more in if you wanted. Do another row and put an extra two on. 
Yeah, you could have six hanging off. You could have eight hanging off. I'm quite happy with the four. I tried two to start off when it looked a little bit, yeah, it looked a little bit bare. So that's that. Let me bring another bottle in. Yeah, I do have these. But that went oh, down to my last proper glue dangle. Oh, I like that. So, there you have glue dangle bottles. Now, I'm going to shock you and love you and leave you now. I know that was shorter than my usual video. If you do fancy giving these a go and you've got jewellery making supplies, I'll link a video that I did previously up here. It's still pretty easy. We do use earring backs, but we use the metal type rather than the plastic type. I mean, you could use the metal type on here. I just think, well, I couldn't find my metal ones. End of story. So I stole my daughter's plastic ones. That's the reason why. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Check out the other video and I'll see you next time. Bye.